Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you some of the basics of ActionScript 3. And let's get into it. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, this plane moving across the screen totally with ActionScript. So let's test out the movie and see what it does. You see my ship flying across. Wow, this is amazing. Now, you may say to yourself that this is not really that amazing, and you're all fools if you think that. No, what I'm saying is you want to be able to make your ships or anything inside of Flash move with ActionScript. You want to have the ability to know how to do that. And and this will also teach you the basics of what you want to do inside of ActionScript. So what I want to do is just move over to a blank document here. And I'm just going to go to the library, go to my previous movie that I just created, and drag out the ship onto my first layer. So what you want to do is make uh, some sort of object and create it. Um, and mod and modify it or convert it to a movie clip. So what I'm going to do on my first layer, I'm just going to rename this to content. This is mostly how everything is done inside of your um, Flash movie when you're dealing with a lot of action script. So um, before I lock my layer, I want to make sure that I click on my uh, movie clip and go to properties and in properties make sure to give it an instance name I'm um, ship underscore B and right now that's what I've just named this instant this uh, movie clip so I'll be able to communicate it via action script now I go to my second layer I create a new layer by just pressing the layer button and I'm going to rename it AS3 so I know what um, language I'm writing in you're going to be dealing mostly with this action script with the actions frame and the way you get to that is make sure you go to windows or not windows ooh, window and you're going to go to actions or press the um, shortcut that accompanies it so now we're ready to do some good old action script now in action script 3 we have event we add event listeners event listeners uh, identify things you want to listen for think of an event listener as a radio tower so the radio tower is sending out the signal and flash needs a way to receive it and when it receives that radio signal it needs a way to play the radio tune so all we gotta do is know how to type that and make sure you're mindful of how I spell things you know it's very important spelling add capital E event list -ner. that's it add event listener you'll see that it turns blue okay now we have to add a few parameters in here parameters are what you put inside of a function call this is a function and you'll learn more about functions and function calls but parameters are those these things that you put inside of them they're followed usually like like let's say this was a value that I put in it and then I put a comma and I put another value and so forth and so forth but there's specific values that you have to put in it the first value is um, we have to tell it what type of event we're listening for and that's event dot enter frame what it's looking for in this first parameter is some text to tell it what to look for which is listening for every time it enters a frame if you don't know by now flash works on frames so every time you uh, start up a movie the movie has it runs on frames like this movie runs at 24 frames a second which means that this code will run every time it enters a frame 24 times every second comma which will give us our next parameter and that next parameter has to deal with um, the type of function we want to create remember I was talking about functions well we're about to make one you can name it anything you want I'm gonna say ship go as long as it's, it's um, can't start with a number you know just if I were you I'll just keep it to um, letters and underscores alright and that's it and I close it and that's how I make my event listener now I have to make a function that uh, not only is an event handler what that means is it handles what happens when it hears the event type in function because that's what we're gonna create and we named it ship go and we wanna put parentheses just like how this function right here and this function have the same principle in the sense of the setup they are has a name just like at event listener is the name and on this function is ship go the only difference is this function we're creating now and at event listener is already created by 
the good people at Adobe. So anyway, continuing, and any time you at, have an event handler, you have to put a parameter in, which can be any variable. I would stick to letters, and you have to say what event it is. And the way you can tell what event it is is from the first word that you used to declare inside of your at event listener. So it's an event dot enter frame but it's of the event so we're going to make sure that it's event here we put a semicolon and put void which means that your function is not returning anything and once we get into more complex functions I'll show you why you would want to return something in a function um, but for now it doesn't return anything it only does what we tell it to and this is curly brace curly brace that is uh very important to know. It's right by the P, the letter P. Anything inside this curly brace, Flash knows to do it. Because we said on e every single frame, on every time you enter a frame, we want you to do the ship go function. And now we go to the ship go function that we're creating. And in this function, we're going to write some commands. Those commands are going to happen every time Flash enters a frame. So let's write that command, which is ship Remember we named it ship underscore B. All right, ship underscore B is of the of a movie. It is a movie clip. In movie clips, they have certain values or certain um, entities that you can change about them. One of them is its x value. Okay, we have an x value, and that x value can be assigned to something. See this equal sign is not equal. It actually means assign. So we can assign the ship to a specific number. Like let's say we do. 234. So let's see how that turns out. So everything is set up and we're ready to test the movie. Now we'll go to control test movie. And we go to test movie and we see that the ship has magically moved from the beginning all the way here. Now this is not anything impressive. We want to see the ship move. So what we're going to do is go back inside of the actions and change the command that we want. So we're going to do something where we say plus 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 means that it adds one onto the value and reassigns it so what it actually means is ship b dot x plus one is equivalent to ship underscore b dot x so what does that mean it means that you're adding like let's say you had a dollar in your pocket and you put another dollar in your pocket now you have two dollars so you're adding one to the x value of the ship so it started off at one, you're adding another one, so it's two. And then if it adds another one to that two, it's three. And it keeps on doing this, so it's just adding one. Easier to do it that way. I'm going to try it out now. Let's see how, what happens. All right, it's moving very slowly, which is pretty cool. Look at that. You have movement going on. Now, I know some people's first uh, code is, hello world, but shame on them. <laughs> so anyway, we want to do something even cooler. The thing about using code is just you need to learn um, the vocabulary. Like with any language, before you can speak and make raps and poetry and sing songs of meaning, you need to learn, learn the vocabulary. So the vocabulary of, of any coding language is you have to learn the syntax, the way you can write things. So let's do something else. Uh, we're going to assign it to the X mouse. X we use this mouse X. Oh, just a, a little advice. Um, there are R key words like X, mouse, uh, uppercase X, event. You can see all these words that are turning blue. These are words you want to stay away from. F Flash has taken it for them for itself so it can use it. Like if it wants to create a function, don't make a function called function. In other words, you know, let Flash has what it wants. Okay, anyway. Now let's see what we do in this movie. Now Flash, uh, I've told it with the action script that wherever the mouse X is, assign it to the X value of the ship underscore B. So now you see that I've created, and if you're following along, you've created something where the mouse is following the ship. Or the ship is following the mouse, rather. Because, you know. Anyway, moving on. And maybe you're, you might even start getting the hang of this. Like, hold on here. Maybe if I copy this and just change up some letters, I can get something really cool going on here. Where I'll just change that to Y, because that should make sense. I, I went to math class. 
I know there's an X and a Y coordinate. So look at that now. I got the ship following the cursor. You can see that you're already building a game. And you don't even know that much action script. So look at those three lines that we did and we're doing so much already. So this is the first um, of the series that I'm making and mostly I'll be working with games. That, hey, that's my background. I come from a gaming background so but don't worry if you're into building websites in Flash this is gonna help you out too because if you know how to make things move you'll be a smooth in action script. If you like any of these tutorials make sure that you subscribe, rate, comment, and visit my website on enterflash.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.